welcome, welcome, or welcome back to my channel. As you guys already know, it's your girl, Sierra Nicole, and we are back with a Vlogmas Day 7. Y'all, like, as y'all can see, I'm in a little bit of a high spirits today, or I'm trying to be. I just got up this morning and was like, you know what, girl, we're gonna smile all day. We don't even care if we, we don't care what happens, we're gonna smile today. So, that's what we doing, baby. We, uh, we smiling, okay? I'm currently on the road. Um, I have a, about a 30 minute drive. I'm not going anywhere far with y'all. I'm about to cut all my hair off. I know y'all think like, what? <laughs> so, today's vlog is going to be an update. I'm going to officially give you guys a I'm not officially nine months post op, so today is going to be my nine month post op gastric bypass update. So, currently, right now, I'm on my way, 30 minutes out. So, I currently live in Virginia Beach and I'm headed to Portsmouth, Virginia to get my hair cut. So, the guy, the barber that cut my hair previously, I'll drop a picture, um, he lives in Portsmouth. So, from my house, he's a 35 minute drive. So, that's where I'm headed right now. I really just like hit him up and was like, hey, busy can't get me in because I need to cut like I need to just cut it off um most of the reasons why I want to cut it off I feel like I just need this I feel like I need a rebirth I feel like since I had surgery I didn't really like do anything like I just feel like I still have weight on me if that makes sense and you know what they say when a girl cut her hair off she about to change her life so this is not the first time I cut my hair off I honestly cut my hair off <laughs> every single time I'm like really going through something or every transition or new season in my life I feel like I cut my hair but the number one reason why I want to cut my hair um, is because since surgery my hair didn't really fall out but my the texture of my hair changed completely off. I'm not going to go bald because I didn't think about it y'all I was like hmm. I was going to go bald like um Amber Rose bald. But I was like, oh no, Sierra, we ain't that confident girl. You know, we got this big ass face. You know, we can't go bald, bald. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna go low. Like, I don't even want to be able to like pull it. Um, I did cut my hair myself. Like I had a a breakdown during Thanksgiving while my parents, when my mom and my stepdad was here, and I just got aggravated and frustrated and I just cut it off. Today, we're just going to go cut it off, and we're going to start over, and honestly, I've cut my hair so many times before, like, ever since I was 18, I have cut my hair so many times, but for some reason, this time feels like, I don't know, y'all, like, my stomach is in knots, like, I'm a little, I'm anxious, my anxiety is, like, through the freaking roof right now, um, I don't know. I just feel, I'm just like a little, I guess I'm overwhelmed. I don't really know because I really feel like this is about to be a rebirth for me. Like I'm completely, you know, all the way. I feel like all my emotions and all my pain and all my hurt is still left in my hair and I just want to cut it off. So I don't know. I'm really like, like I'm really nervous y'all. Like, oh, like I just, uh, I'm just like real antsy and my anxiety is through the freaking roof. So, but we're gonna make it happen. Um, I'm, I'm just nervous, y'all. Oh my god. I'm just so freaking. 
are here. We are here. We here, y'all. Yeah. So, it's gone. So, my hair is all gone. It's all gone. I don't know if I want to cry or... I don't know, bruh. I don't know how to feel right now. I really just don't know how to feel. So y'all, I'm officially motherfucking baldy. I'm to baldy. Like, I really can't believe I just cut all of my hair off. I'm bald. I just cut all my hair off. Like, I don't know how the fuck to feel. Like, I really just don't know how to feel. But, this is a motherfucking new birth. Okay, rebirth, new birth. Clean slate. We are starting over um, with this cut. I literally just want a fresh start like as far as with family with friends with my with my life the roundabout, just, take the first exit onto Bart Street just in general in half a mile turn left onto Effingham Street I'm gonna talk to y'all when I get on the highway that way the GPS won't be in my video I mean Hey y'all, so I did my makeup and I got dressed and let me just say, I am motherfucking feeling myself and that's on period. I want to go take myself out on a date. 
I might just do that. I think I might finna go get something to eat and take myself out to a restaurant and take myself out on a little date. You know what I'm saying? Cause I look good and I feel amazing. Like honestly, let me just say, I feel like a weight has been lifted off of me. Like I'm not gonna, the last past two days, y'all already know I was dealing with my depression. And today I was just like shopping for one of my, for one of my clients and I was just like, you know what? I'm going to cut my hair off today. Fuck it. Like, excuse my language. But I was like, you know what? Forget it. I'm finna. I was like, forget it. I'm finna cut my hair off. So I hit my barber up and I was like, hey, can you get me in? And he was like, yeah, you be here. And that's what we did. And I'm just. Oh my God. It's just like so much face. It's just like, I can't hide anymore. I feel like free and. I feel so light and I'm just full up like y'all. I just feel amazing. Um, but I did want to finish out the video because I know I'm supposed to be giving you guys an update. Um, so I'm probably going to take some pictures and post them on the screen of me in a bikini and let you guys see like my loose skin. Um, so let's just talk about my loose skin. So I have loose skin in areas that really when you put clothes on, you can't really see it. Um, I have loose skin on my arms, but it's not like so much. You guys see the pictures, but it's not like so much where it's just like, you know, unbearable. Like when I put clothes on, I feel very comfortable. Now, when I take my clothes off, I do have some things that I wish I could change about my body, but I am still losing weight and probably, I don't know. I'm going to say right now, probably because I'm a really scary person to be honest when it comes to like surgeries and all that stuff. Like I'm really like, I'm allergic to pain. So I don't know if I have plastic surgeries. I know that I say I want to because I know I'm going to want that skin removed. But if I'm actually going to go, you know, if I'm actually going to go through that process, I honestly don't know. Um, My boobs are like, my number one or the number one thing my boobs is the number one thing about my body that i wish i could change right now like i wish i could inflate them like i was just a girl who never had much junk in the trunk i've always had top so my top being you know deflated um <laughs> to say the nice words to be said you look like you know i have had 30 kids and i have had none um, it's just, it's just taking me some getting used to, but it's not like, oh guys, like do or die because they make push up bras and I make push up bras and we push them girls up because you know, let's just say them girls is always sitting nice. Okay. But when the clothes come off at night or when I'm in the, getting in the shower, I just be looking like, Oh my God. So I could definitely see myself wanting to get a breast, um, get my breast done. I can't even lie. Um, um, my stomach, sorry y'all. My stomach really doesn't bother me when it comes to the loose skin just because my stomach was always the biggest part of me. Um, so my stomach has always kind of been in my way is, is the way I kind of look at it. My stomach has always been there. It's it was always big um, and now just to see it smaller and flat, like it's, I'm okay with it. Yes, I wish like my stomach was flat and it didn't have like the loose skin on it. Like my stomach wasn't like so doughy, I call it doughy y'all. So doughy and like flabby, you know, um, but a tummy tuck, you know, in the near future, probably because honestly, I feel like the loose skin is where the remainder of my weight is. I feel like I've lost, I could probably lose more weight, but I feel like if I was to remove all the loose skin, then I would probably be about 10 to 12 pounds lighter. I feel like my skin weighs that much. Um, so yeah, I know that's like a really, really big thing. And let's get into the hair. I was telling you guys earlier um, when I was on my way to get my hair cut that my hair texture changed. I know a lot of people ask if my hair actually fell out. I would say because my hair texture changed, um, because I'm a hairstylist, I'm licensed, I went to school for this, I can be more, 
I can elaborate a little bit more as to what actually happened to my hair. So I don't, I will not say that my hair fell off. My The texture of my hair changed, which, you know, before my hair had all these nutrients and after surgery, my hair became more brittle, more dry, it was lacking that you can tell. It was kind of like, no matter how many products I put in my hair, how much moisture my hair was always constantly dry. And from my hair being dry, it caused my hair to break off. I can't say that the surgery makes your hair fall out. I, I would just honestly tell you guys that having surgery will change a lot about your body. I would tell you guys, don't be so anal on things like your hair falling out, you're having loose skin, you know what I'm saying? I would say, if you're having weight loss surgery to better your overall, the, the overall health of, of yourself, of your body, I feel like that outweighs all of the little stuff. Like these are things that's, that are gonna come with weight loss surgery. You're going to have loose skin if you're a bigger person because if you're so big, say if you're 300 pounds, you're gonna have loose skin because you're losing so much weight so fast. So your skin doesn't have time to to lose with your body. You know, it doesn't have, the elasticity doesn't have time to like go back. Like, so it's just like dropping and dropping. So if you're worried about having loose skin, if you're worried about your hair falling out, if you're worried about the little minor things, then I will honestly say the surgery is not for you. But if you're really just wanting to change your life, like, you want to have a longer lifespan with your health. If you have major health issues like diabetes and high blood pressure and you're tired of being on medication and stuff like that, like I would definitely recommend the surgery. But if you're just a person who's worried about these smaller things, then the surgery is not for you because you are going to be miserable. Things are going to, it's going to affect you, okay? Your hair, like my hair texture changed. It didn't like make me sad or anything because um, for me, it's different because I'm a hairstylist. I don't mind throwing on a wig. I, I love wigs. I wear wigs probably 95% out of 90%, 90% of the time. So it didn't really bother me that my hair, you know, my hair texture was changing. I did what I could to manage it. And when I got like extremely tired of it, where I felt to the point like, okay, I want to start over. I cut all my hair off. So to me, hair is not a big factor. So I know a lot of people ask me those questions and my experience is going to be different than yours. If you're worried about your hair, like if you're so attached to your hair, then I probably wouldn't get the surgery because those things are going to change. It's just going to change. Um, okay. Oh, my bad, bro. Okay. So... When I first had surgery, fresh out of the hospital, I did do the Biatric Advantage. That's the one that my doctor and my surgeon them recommended because it's it's supposed to be made for biatric patients. So I did take all of the biatric vitamins as far as like the calcium, their multivitamin, their iron. Like I literally went on their website and whatever whatever my surgeon them told me that I needed, I ordered it from Biatric Advantage. Now, as I progressed in my surgery, my stomach tolerated different things. So the biatric brand of medication no longer worked for me. I would say it worked for the first and second month. And then after that, it just, something drastically changed. I don't know if it was a taste, I'm spitting. I don't know if it was a taste or whatever it was, but it drastically changed for me and I couldn't stomach the biatric supplements at all. I actually don't even take the calcium citrate my surgeon knows I don't take it because it makes me sick. I've tried all kind of forms of it. I've tried the chewables, every flavor. Do not take it at all whatsoever. What I'm telling you guys, what I'm showing you guys is what I actually take on a daily basis, okay? Don't go off of the vitamins that I take. I know a lot of guys, a lot of you guys like see me and y'all see how, I, how well I've done with my surgery and you see like my skin and everything. And I'm just thankful honestly that the surgery has done me so well um but i've told you guys if you guys have watched any of my previous videos i myself did not follow what my surgeon said to the t i just did not i do a lot of reading i did a lot of research i watched a lot of stuff and i decided that i would take what my surgeon said take the research mesh it together and kind of create my own plan i don't claim to be a doctor you know i don't just like do crazy stuff but i does what works for my body and i'm an advocate to say that your body will tell you what your body needs so 
I don't push my body too far. I don't do too much. If I try something and it doesn't work for my body, then I immediately stop that. I don't just like keep pushing and I don't force myself to take anything, to eat anything or anything like that. I just do what works for my body and my body tells me when something is not okay. And once my body gives me that sign, that's the end of that. Then I try something else. So I had to find vitamins that worked for me. Like I said, I did do the Biatric Advantage for the first few months. And then after that, I kind of mixed it. So I did some of the Biatric Advantage um, because I'm not one for wasted. So I did finish like the supplements that I had with the Biatric Advantage. And then I went and outsourced different vitamins and different brands. So I do have a few brands, but these are the brands that work for me, guys, for me. You guys are not me. I'm just recommending stuff. You guys are more than welcome to try it if it works for you. If it doesn't, you have to try something else. And I think that's something that a lot of you guys as surgeons don't tell y'all or the nutritionists or whoever you speak with, whoever your team is, they don't tell you guys that what works for one person is not gonna work for another person. Just because it works for you for the first month or the second month doesn't mean it's gonna work for you seven months down the line, 10 months down the line, a year down the line. Your body is going to change because that's just what's gonna happen. Here. Okay, so with all that being said, let's get into the vitamins. Okay, like I said, I take the Flintstone multivitamin with iron. I'm 28 years old. So I still have a cycle. So they tell us that if you still have a cycle, they recommend you take the Flintstones with iron. That's what I take. Okay, I have a cycle regularly every month, thank God. Because before I did not. Also, let me say, I am someone also who suffers, not suffer CO, we ain't a victim to nothing, who deals with PCOS. I have been diagnosed with PCOS. So, you know, there's that. Um, I take the Nature Made B1 in the 100 milligram. Um, now, I at one point was B1 deficient, so my doctor had me taking more, but now that I'm efficient, um, I only have to take 100 milligrams. And I get this from Walmart, I think, but if Walmart doesn't have it, you can try CVS, Target, um, because I think the most recent time, because this is a brand new bottle, um, I actually got this one, this bottle from Target because Walmart was sold out. So you can get it at any store that sells vitamins, honestly. Um, I also have the Nature Made um, brand B12. Um, and then this, this is the Zolable Tablets. And it is also, a, it's a thousand MCGs, okay? And it's in the cherry flavor. Um... I was taking, I want to say the B12, I, all, they're all, I think, dissolvable, but the Biatric Advantage still works for the B12, um, but I kind of needed this like at the moment, and I think when I went to go put in an order, it was like it wouldn't be here fast enough, so I did go out and outsource, so I've been using these, but I still do use the Biatric Advantage in the B12 um, as well. I, I'm out of it right now, so that's why I can't show you guys. Um, and then I use the Spring Valley D3. So, um, and then I, it's 125 MCGs. So, D3. Um, those are all the vitamins I take. I don't take any biotin. I don't take anything. I have been thinking about adding sea moss to my regimen um, just because they say sea moss is really, really good for you. And it's natural because I do want to get out of like having to take all of this but i do want to wait till i'm probably a little bit probably like 10 or 12 months post-op um that way i know exactly how my body's body operates before i just take myself off of those actual pill form of vitamins i will i'm trying to go a more natural a more natural way um i'm trying to think guys because i know you guys ask me a lot about what I do. I've honestly been feeling great. Like as far as like my body goes, as far as my energy level, I think I've adjusted. I've made the adjustments. Now I do have some sleepless nights, but I don't take anything for for sleeping anymore. Um, I was at one point taking sleeping pills that I did get approved by my surgeon. Um, but I wanted to kind of take myself off of that because I don't want to be a person that has to take pills and medicine because y'all already told y'all I suck at swallowing stuff. Okay. So, um, um, so I have other alternatives that help me go to sleep. Like now I listen to white noise or I listen to rain to help me fall asleep at night. But, um, sleep. It does 
sleep issues does come with surgery um for me it did anyway because energy levels kind of do fluctuate they go up and down since surgery sometimes some days i'm i have a lot of energy and some days i have no energy it just kind of comes and goes um my size i know a lot of people want to know i'm honestly at a stall i don't really call it a stall because honestly i don't want to lose any more weight i love the size i am i don't see anything wrong with the size i am i at this point i really just want to maintain i could lose 10 more pounds um but i'm honestly not trying to at this point so it, it's really that's not something that i worry about i don't stress about the numbers on the scale I don't worry about it. Um, I fluctuate between 175 and 180. Um, or one, I'm sorry, 175 to 182. I literally fluctuate in between those. So this week, I think I weighed, I'm at, I'm at 180. Last week I weighed, I was at 177. Um, so it just depends on the week. Like week when I'm eating more carbs or I'm exercising less. So I kind of fluctuate. My surgeon did give me a, um, a goal weight of 161 because I'm 5'5". Um, and so he was saying like for my BMI, they want me to be at 161, but like I said, I don't listen to my surgeon 100% <laughs> guys. Um, I do have, he does want me at 161 in my year post-op mark. So I have three months, um, to lose the weight, which it's possible, you know, um, but I'm not really stressing it at this moment. I am happy. I'm living my best life. Weight is not the center of my life anymore it's it's just not it's not something that i just focus on every day i just try to like live my life and go off of my body and how i feel um what makes me feel good i have to do what works for me i take my you know I, I listen to what my surgeon tells me to do as long as it's affecting my health now as far as my eating plan and stuff like that i kind of do my own thing um I do make sure I get protein in in a day, but I'm not getting 60 to 70 grams of protein. I'm not having a protein shake if I'm not getting enough protein. I'm drinking my liquids. If I'm drinking water or if I'm drinking juice, I'm getting in liquids. I have never had a problem with being dehydrated or anything like that. So I can't speak for you. I can't say that you can do what I do and it'll work for you. I'm just giving you guys my experience and what works and how it works for me um um let's talk about more serious about the behind the scenes part of it so a lot of people ask did i pay for my surgery out of pocket or um did i did my insurance cover it so when i had my surgery um it was covered by my insurance so i have tricare I paid $20 maybe for my medicine the day I left um, the hospital, but that's it. Now, when I go see my doctor, um, I think I have like a copay maybe of like $10 every every time I go see them, which, I mean, granted, that's nothing. I want to say that my surgery was $74,000. I'm not actually sure. If I can find all that information, I'll try to post it on the screen. I can't promise y'all it'll be posted on the screen because I don't even know where my folder and stuff is. Um, but yes, my surgery was covered by my insurance. I didn't pay for anything out of pocket except for my medicine, um, which I didn't really pay for my medicine out of pocket. It was covered under my insurance. I just paid like a copay. So, um... I'm trying to think my recovery process, my down time. I have been an entrepreneur since 2014. So I didn't have to like go into a job, take off time, do any of that. Um, I had the liberty to, I mean, it's pretty much, I do what I want when I want to anyway, when it comes to like my income and stuff like that. Downtime was about a month, I would say. Um, and I want to say, I didn't take it too far, but I want to say I'm, I probably could have took a little bit more time because I know I was in pain for the first three weeks. I couldn't do anything, but I had my surgery um, March the 1st and I know April the 1st, I was on, I was taking a girl's trip to Houston, Texas. So, um, or no, April the, was it April the 1st? I know it was like the first week, the first few weeks in April. So the, the beginning of April. So I did have my surgery March the 1st. Um, 
like I said, I want to say I went on a girl's trip. I have to see if I can find a picture with the date on it. I, and I'll post that on the screen, definitely. Um, I went on a girl's trip. We went to Houston, Texas. And I was only I was only a little bit over a month post-op. So, my body healed very, very well. Um, so, my downtime, I would say at least a month. Um, at least give your body that. Um, I know once... My surgeon, I think, cleared me because I want to say the first month. So after, I want to say my first month post-op, my doctor cleared me to tell me that I could work out. I did it because I didn't feel like my body was ready. Listen, again, you guys, I am going to stress, I am an advocate of listening to your body. When you have surgery, listen to your body. Your body's going to tell your body when it's, in, you're going to tell you when you're in pain. Your body's going to tell you when it's hungry, when it's not hungry, when it's full. Your body, listen to your body. Literally take that so seriously because that's how I operate. So even though my surgeon did clear me, I didn't because my body was telling me like, mm, see, are you mm, probably not all the way there? I'm still a little weak. So, um, I want to say I didn't work out until the second month, probably like my second two and a half months. Um, I went jogging. I would go running. Um, I still haven't done like heavy lifting, like weights. I want to start weight training now, which might be a little too late in my um, journey. But nonetheless, like to tighten up my skin or whatever. But I still want to do weight training. But yeah, so but I listen to my body when it comes to food. You guys stress and pressure me so much about letting you guys know what I eat. Please follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. At I am Sierra Nicole. I literally post everything on Instagram, like literally everything on Instagram. I'm not going to sit on YouTube and do a what I eat in a day video because what I eat in a day, it fluctuates. I eat what I want to eat. Like I'm sitting here eating a Twizzler for God's sake. If I want it. I'm going to eat it as long as my body allows me to. As long as my body tells me that I'm fine. As long as it doesn't make me sick. I'm going to eat it, okay? I eat fried chicken. Um, I haven't found a rice that doesn't make me sick yet. So, rice is probably one of the top things that I cannot eat. Salad. And I haven't tried a salad in, in a probably like a month. I miss salad, but I know before... Salad didn't digest well in my stomach. But guys, I eat pizza. Um, pastas, I can't eat a lot of. Um, pastas, rice, stuff like that. I can eat it, but I can't eat a lot of it. So I don't choose to eat those things because I want to enjoy my food. So I'm not out here eating pastas and rices. And Now, cauliflower rice, love it. It works. It sits well in my stomach. Rice noodles um sit well in my stomach as well but anything else no like i'm not out here eating fettuccine alfredo and stuff like that pizza bread does my body fine so i can eat pizza i can probably eat one whole slice of pizza to be completely honest that's it only one little slice and i'm done on a good day if i if like i haven't eaten all day i can eat a whole slice of pizza if i eat throughout the day i can probably eat a half of a slice of pizza so I eat what I want, but in moderation, okay? Um, my feeding size or the amount of food that I eat is still small. I have these little saucers and these little paper plates that I eat off of when I'm at my house. Now, when I'm at a restaurant, to-go boxes are my best friend. I'm literally gonna take two or three bites and I'm gonna be done with my foods. But I don't sit there and tell myself, I don't get a lighter portion. Um, now, sorry guys. Now if I'm at a restaurant that has a kids menu that's a good kids, kids menu, I will order off the kids menu. Um, but at a lot of restaurants that I go to, they don't even allow you to order off of the kids menu. Um, so, I order a regular portion and I'm going to eat that portion for two days. The next day, that's it. So, honestly, I feel like me measuring out my food and weighing my food, it stresses me out. I'm, I'm somebody already y'all know. I've already told y'all. I have anxiety and I deal with depression. Stuff like that 
depresses me and I know that about myself. So why am I going to do something that's going to make my anxiety levels high and that's going to put me in a depressive state? I'm not going to do it. So I do not weigh my food. I'm not measuring out my food. I'm just not, I'm not going to do it. I've never done it. I'm not going to start doing it. I, it's, that is not going to work for me long term because I'm not going to be five years out measuring my food. It's not going to happen. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. So I'm not going to do that. I don't do that. I'm not going to show you guys what I eat in the day. Please stop asking. If you want to see the foods that I eat, what I can stomach, please follow me on Instagram. I will post, I literally post whatever. I, I've had fried green tomatoes. Like guys, you name it, I eat it. I eat a chocolate bar every day. Not every day. Okay, see, are you going too far? But I eat a chocolate bar probably twice in a week. I don't have dumping as much anymore. Um, some foods still, when I eat them, they don't, like I can't eat a lot of fast food like McDonald's. I'm not out here eating McDonald's and, um, I've had drinks from Starbucks. I can stomach them. Um, some of them I have to get made with almond milk or, but I'm lactose intolerant. I was lactose intolerant before I had surgery. So dairy, it does disrupt my stomach. Give me a little bubbles, you know. Um, I poop regularly. I have no problems with my bowels. Now the first, who the first four, five months, horrible. Had to take stool softeners. I would at least get a constipated. I would at least get I would at least get constipated at least once a week. It was horrible. But now I'm regular. I listen to my body. I know my body. I feed my body what my body wants and we go to the bathroom. We have no problem in that area. <laughs> but I did for the longest. I did try rice early on mistake. Like rice horrible. I can eat macaroni and cheese. Like for Thanksgiving, I enjoyed a plate of food. Like my plate was very small. It was on a saucer, but I did get a little dabble of everything on my plate. And I was satisfied with that. Um steak is not a meat that I eat rarely, but I love steak. So I am about to start soon eating incorporating more steak. I feel like I'm nine months post op. I should be able to manage a steak. Um, I'm sick of chicken. I'm getting sick of chicken. Okay. I got sick of fish because fish was all I could eat when I was in early stages of post op. And then after that it was now it's chicken. It's like, I always eat chicken. I still love my seafood. Um, I can eat shrimp. Shrimp for me was the, one of the hardest things to reintroduce back into my body for some reason. I don't know why. Crawfish didn't bother me, but shrimp did. I don't know if it's the type of shrimp, but um, but I can stomach shrimp now. Crab legs, wonderful. Seafood is wonderful to me. Like my body loves seafood, always have. I'm so glad because I was really sad about that. Um, but I can't have all the seasonings. Like it can't be super, super spicy, super, super spicy. Spicy foods don't sit well in my stomach anymore. Um, my go-to snacks, honestly, that I can stomach no matter what, and I really don't have like a limit, which I don't really like to have them much, is popcorn. I can literally eat a whole bag of popcorn and it will like do nothing to me. I don't know if popcorn dissolves or what popcorn does, but popcorn holds no weight in my stomach at all. Um, I'm trying to think, guys. I'm really just trying to give you guys a rundown because y'all probably won't get another update video from me until I'm a year post-op. Um, so, yeah, because for so long, weight has been such a major part of my life. Always, I've always focused on my weight. My weight has always fluctuated. I've always been called bigger girl, big girl, fat girl. Oh, Sierra, you too, you too big. You're getting too big. Don't you think you need to push that from the table? Don't Like, I have heard it all my life. It's kind of just like... It's not my main focus anymore. I'm enjoying my life. I love the size that I'm in. I love the body that I'm in now. And it took me until I was 20, 27, 28 to get there, to get here. And I just don't want to allow weight, my weight loss to consume me anymore. So if I choose not to work out, I'm not going to work out. If I choose to eat a french fry and a burger, I'm going to eat my french fry and I'm going to eat my burger, but within consideration, within moderation. I have learned my body now. I've learned, Sierra, you can't binge if this is the goal that you want or you can't eat too much. You can't, like, I have learned that. It's like I've had a discipline within myself to know that I don't want to go back to being 300 pounds. That's never going to be an option for me. I love the body I'm in. I love the way my clothes fit. I love being able to go in the store and go pick out, pick up a small and put it on. I have never in my life been able to go in the store and buy a small. 
I can buy a small. So I know the feeling that I have now, I would never allow myself to get back to 300 pounds. So whatever, whatever that looks like for me to keep myself from going back there, I'm willing to do that. So that's the determination and the will and the, that I have. So me trying to be so strict on my eating or be so hard on myself when it comes to eating, I've been there, done that, and I failed. That's what caused me to binge and, you know, go crazy and all these fat diets and trying to keep up a certain image or try to keep up with everybody else. And, oh, they're doing this diet. Oh, let me try this diet. Or they're doing this. Let me try this. No, I listen to my body. I listen to my body. I listen to my body. I cannot say that enough. Like, I promise you guys, your body will tell you when it needs something, when it's lacking something, when it's had enough of something, your body will tell you. Listen to your body. Be careful when y'all are watching these videos and listening to this um, information and paying people on Instagram for diets and information about, excuse me, information about your weight loss. If there's an issue that you're having, with your surgery, any major questions that you have, ask your surgeon. I, I'm here to help you guys. I don't mind giving you guys the information that I have. Um, and unless you're in Virginia Beach and you're going through Bon Secours and Dr. David Spencer is your surgeon, I do not know what you're, what is expected of you. I can only give you my experience. I can only give you or tell you my experience with my surgery. So that that um i don't know i feel like i think i answered all the questions i'm not really sure um if you guys have any questions like i always tell you guys in every update video definitely leave a comment down below and i will answer them you can inbox me on instagram i will definitely respond to you guys congratulations on anybody who's watching this video who's about to have the surgery congratulations good luck be patient with yourself be kind to yourself allow your body time to heal um and girl go rock it come be a part of the losers, losers bench come sit right here beside me in the loser circle girl you got it the weight is going to fall off that is the least of your worries the weight is going to fall off as long as you listen to your body and do what you're supposed to do be careful do not rush it do not focus so much on the numbers do not focus so much on the scale worry about how you feel how your body feels just be kind with yourself be patient give your body time to heal it's a journey the journey never ends it's a marathon it's not a it's not a race it's literally a marathon from the day that you go into that surgical room and you get the surgical procedure done your life is forever changed and that's just what it is. So you just have to continue to listen to your body, continue to be patient, to be kind to yourself and just do what you need to be done. Good luck. I love you guys. I'll always be here. Like I said, if you guys have information, any questions, if you guys want to know how to get started with your weight loss, um, like the process of getting started with having the weight loss surgery, I'm definitely here for any questions. I'm here 100%. Like, I'm not just saying that. I'm really here. You can ask people in the comments, like, oh, is Sierra going to respond? I respond to you guys. I try to always respond to you guys. If I don't respond to your comment, it's because I'm getting ready to do a video about it and I'm going to answer your question in the video. Um, I'm I'm more responsive and quicker to respond if you DM me on my Instagram. So follow me on my Instagram. It's I am Sierra Nicole. All you have to do is shoot me a DM. I check my DMs every single day. So I will see your message. I will respond to your message. I'm here for all the motivation. I will talk to you until, you know, so we both blew in the face. I don't mind. I love you guys. I really appreciate all the love and support. I'm really honored that you guys, you know, want to come to me for advice and ask me questions. I, I love you guys so much. So that's it. Nine month update video is done vlogmas day seven is done we looking good done don't play with her put some respect on my name ah, put some respect on my name ah, put some but that's it um don't forget definitely hit that big red subscribe button 
definitely give this video a big thumbs up turn on your post notifications so you don't miss any time i up upload a brand new video and until tomorrow i will see you guys in vlogmas day eight y'all have a good night bye hey you the hey hey you that thank you guys so much for watching and before you go don't forget to hit that subscribe button and definitely check out one of my latest videos all right until next time